Hi folks, my name is Mike from Dream Life Ranch. I am a master farrier, retired. Okay, I um, don't do very, very many feet anymore because it has COPD and I end up coughing and huffing and puffing when I start rasping. This is a great tool to help me get back to doing things and gives me more abilities to do my own horses. Uh, and it's great. This, I'm gonna give you an unbiased opinion about this because I don't work for the company. I have some good things and some great bad things to say about this product. Number one, okay, this is called the hoof knife, and it's a great little tool. Very lightweight, very quiet. Horses don't seem to object to it, all right, and there's a, with the label on it. The only thing is, what I don't like about it is when you're sitting there, I'm going to put this down. worried about the horse and you're holding the horse's foot and everything when you go to push the button it, and push straight down it's locked it won't lock it won't go you gotta fight you gotta fight to push it up fight to push it up fight to push it up to get it to turn on pain in the neck okay I got other things to worry about than turning this on okay second of all it's got a shield which you can adjust to which angle you want to work at but as their own admittance, this device sprays slivers of hoof, and they spray in your face. Now, yes, they do give you a pair of safety goggles. My sunglasses are safety goggles, okay? But that doesn't protect your face from getting pelted. I had to go out and separately buy a face shield to make sure that my face doesn't get pelted with uh, pieces of hoof. All right, so they need a secondary safety shield. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this out. To put a secondary plastic shield around the outside back part of this so it stops spraying, okay, uh, horse slivers all over the place. All right? And if they had a secondary shield that covered pretty much about three quarters of it, all right, you wouldn't have a problem. And that way you could still use it this way or angled or however. But if you had a secondary shield, plastic, so you can see through it, that would stop the, the slivers from flying all over the place. All right, we're gonna get set up and get the, uh, what do you call it, area prep for using this. We're also going to today uh, try the, the duct tape thing on the horses to see how it works. All right, so stand by and we'll go to the second part. Okay, well, as you see all over my shirt, and I, I was stupid not to wear a short sleeve, there's just horse stuff all over the place. I know they say they do this and, and, and put a blanket over your horse and all It's a little extraneous, okay, to go through. We're in Arizona, so I'm certainly not going to put a, a blanket over a horse in the middle of summertime, okay? And you got to watch out for this. This is a required piece of equipment. All right, and you see it, putting it on. You're going to take the video tape of the horse. You're going to walk into the horse. Zoom in on his foot. We're going to be doing the front left foot. You did the front left foot already. It's at 47 degrees. And she's getting a good foot. Hopefully he'll be a good boy. And let's see how bad this is. Here in Arizona, your feet get to be as hard as they can walk, especially in the summertime. And they love to get stones along their frogs. Now hopefully, if we do this once already, we'll be a good boy. And I got through with that trick.
At this point, I felt like I was recovering the fiberglass. Okay, so I didn't feel very comfortable. I know it's hard to hear me because of the battery wrap all the time. Okay, okay. They need to have a guard. So please, help us people. Put a secondary guard on there. It's only common sense. Plus. Alright, well that's pretty much it for today. We did one horse in a couple feet, which in my age, two feet a day is a pretty good deal. Alright, um, one of the things folks is, please, it's a great tool. I'm not knocking it, but I am knocking the fact that that sprays hoof pieces all over you, all over. Not all of us do stuff stands. We still do the traditional putting a horse's foot between our legs. That means if you don't have a long sleeve shirt, you don't have protective gear on, okay, you're not going to be comfortable. And in the summertime here in Arizona, it gets hot, so we usually wear about the minimal amount of clothes we get to wear. Have a good day, and thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel.